Hey, to connect Xiaomi Smart Band 9 into the mobile application on the Android phone, for example, or iPhone, it actually looks the same. First of all, you will have to turn on your device and select the language. So in my case, I'm going to select English. And now we have to put the band close to our phone and we have to open the Google Play Store or Android devices and App Store on iPhones. And you will have to search for the Mi Fitness application. This is official Xiaomi mobile software for Xiaomi Band Smart Band 9. So after you install this application, you will have to open it. And right now, click on the start button. There is terms and conditions we can accept both of them, but also you don't have to actually accept user experience program. This is actually your choice. Click agree. In this screen, you will have to choose your location. So in my case, it was actually automatically detected and I'm in the Poland, but if you want to switch, you can do this by selecting any other country from the list. Next, tap on the next button, that's quite obvious. Now we have to go into the device and right now you will have to click on the add device. Now just be sure that your device is turned on. Click agree, click agree again. And right now we have to allow Mi Fitness app to connect and determine the relative position of Nerby devices. So we have to accept this. And as you can see now the Xiaomi Smart Band 9 appears on the list. If for some reason the device is not on the list, you will have to wait for the searching process, but you can also go back and do this one more time. Select Xiaomi Smart Band 9 and you will have to click to sign in into the Xiaomi account. Right here you can find all of these login methods. You can use the Xiaomi account, you can use Google account, you can use your phone number, or if you don't have Xiaomi account, you can create one uh, by clicking here and then following on-screen instructions. In my case, I'm not gonna actually create account because I'm always using my Google account, so I can, I, I'm going to click here. You will have to tap agree if you also choose this login method. Right now, you can use your Google account that is currently logged into this phone but you can also add another account if you want. This is your choice. Now, we have to click on the Xiaomi Smart Band 9 one more time. Now we have this connection process pairing. So now you will have to accept this pairing request on your Xiaomi Smart Band 9 by clicking on this switcher. Now we have to also confirm on our device, but as you can see, we got actually some kind of the issue. So click to try again. Okay, as you can see right now, everything is fine. So now you have to grant permission to stay connected. So we can go into the settings and here we can find some information why you have to keep the app running in the background, but you can also do this later if you have any problem with this. Click done. Now click continue and accept every permission. Right now we got this uh, widgets, control center. We got uh, the features. Now we can synchronize all notifications from our phone to our wearable device. So we can just turn it on by clicking here or select specific apps. That's your choice. Select, click set. Now click set again. From the device and app notifications, we have to allow the Mi Fitness application. So tap on it, click to allow notification access. Click allow one more time, then go back click set. This is actually for incoming calls. Click allow, accept another free permissions. Right here you can synchronize the do not disturb mode with the phone. So when you turn on the do not disturb mode on your phone, it will also turn on the do not disturb mode on your band. So you have to decide if you want to enable this feature. In my case, I don't want, so I'm going to unselect, click set. Now, Turn on the synchronization between your device and your phone. Accept permission. Click on the switcher to allow setting alarms. Go back. And click connect one more time. And let's take a look. As you can see right now, we are successfully connected. So that's all for this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.